Tesla has this too for Optimus. As you say, it is essential for humanoid robot training. Elon Musk confirmed on X that the key to making robots intelligent lies in a realistic training environment. Tesla has already collected over 1 million hours of visual and motion data from its factories to train Optimus. This is an advantage that figure AI, agility, and Boston Dynamics cannot catch up with anytime soon. What makes Optimus training unique? Before we begin, please help us reach 15,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What makes Tesla's AI training approach with DreamGen so uniquely effective? One of the most revolutionary aspects of the Tesla Optimus Gen 3.5 lies in its training methodology. Elon Musk emphasized that, bear in mind it is super fun but just an early beta. Imagine will vastly improve in the weeks and months to come. This statement signals not only Tesla's confidence in its rapid iteration cycle, but also underscores the power of its AI training engine, DreamGen. Unlike traditional methods of robot training which rely heavily on physical repetition and human supervision, Tesla's approach leverages a data-driven synthetic environment to enable autonomous learning at unprecedented scale and efficiency. But what makes DreamGen so powerful? And how does it set Optimus apart from any humanoid robot before it? At its core, DreamGen is a video generative training engine designed to enable robots to dream, not metaphorically, but literally, in a world made of pixels. This dream world is constructed using advanced video diffusion models, similar to Sora and Vio, which have been trained on billions of real-world videos from the internet. These models act like neural physics engines, capable of predicting plausible future frames from a given image, simulating countless potential scenarios. DreamGen fine-tunes this ability to focus on robotic behavior. The process starts with a state-of-the-art video model fine-tuned specifically for the target robot, such as Tesla's humanoid Optimus. Tesla's methodology involves four straightforward but extremely potent steps. First, they fine-tune a top-tier video model to the Optimus robot's characteristics. Second, they prompt the model with a wide variety of language commands, asking it to simulate diverse real-world tasks in virtual settings. From this stage, DreamGen can generate photorealistic video sequences of Optimus performing tasks it has never physically executed. The third step uses inverse dynamics or latent action modeling to infer the corresponding motor actions behind each frame. Finally, these neural trajectories video action pairs are fed into Tesla's robot foundation models using standard supervised learning. This training approach allows Tesla to bypass the slow, expensive, and risky process of using human-operated fleets or physical trial and error learning. In DreamGen's world, Optimus can operate 24-7 without wearing down hardware or risking injury. The result is an almost infinite amount of synthetic training data generated at near-zero marginal cost. It is essentially free, continuous robot education. The impact of DreamGen is already evident in the behavioral generalization observed in Optimus Gen 3.5. Starting with a dataset limited to simple pick-and-place tasks, the humanoid robot learned to execute 22 new complex behaviors, including pouring, folding, scooping, ironing, and hammering, none of which were explicitly programmed or demonstrated by human trainers. This kind of zero-shot generalization is a major breakthrough. Even more compelling is that these skills translate to entirely new environments. When moved from its lab environment to the NVIDIA HQ Cafe, Optimus was able to use its DreamGen-trained knowledge to improve its success rate from 0% to 43% on novel verbs, and from 0% to 28% in unfamiliar locations. This degree of adaptability is what makes DreamGen revolutionary. Traditional robot training engines based on graphics simulations struggle with complex physical interactions such as deformable objects, translucent surfaces, fluids, or subtle lighting changes. Building accurate simulations for these cases is almost impossible without vast engineering effort. DreamGen eliminates this bottleneck. Since it treats every world as a mere forward pass through a diffusion neural network, even the most visually and physically complex scenarios can be simulated with consistent compute cost and minimal manual setup. Moreover, DreamGen doesn't discriminate between types of robots. The system has already been shown to work on various platforms, from humanoids like Optimus and GR1 to industrial arms like Franca and even small-scale robots like Hugging Face's SO100. This flexibility suggests that Tesla's long-term ambition may be to build a universal robot training platform 
that could be applied across a wide range of use cases, from factories and households to hospitality and healthcare. The implications for Tesla Optimus Gen 3.5 are profound. With DreamGen, Tesla is essentially decoupling physical hardware development from behavioral learning. While Gen 3.5 hardware is being tested and iterated, the software side, its motor control, task reasoning, and environment handling is being rapidly evolved inside a synthetic universe. This gives Tesla a unique speed advantage. Every other robot company relying on real-world testing is inherently constrained by time, manpower, and safety. Tesla's robots, on the other hand, are evolving in a multiverse of digital realities. This also explains why Elon Musk was confident enough to claim that Optimus might eventually be priced between $10,000 and $20,000. With training no longer bottlenecked by human labor or expensive infrastructure, and with data scaling at zero marginal cost, Tesla is setting itself up for exponential growth in robotic capability and deployment volume. DreamGen thus acts as a force multiplier, not just in training efficiency, but in economic viability. The roadmap ahead is equally bold. Tesla plans to open source the entire DreamGen pipeline, allowing researchers, developers, and even competitors to explore its structure. This move may seem counterintuitive, but it aligns with Tesla's history of open sourcing key technologies to accelerate innovation. Once again, please help us reach 15,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why is synthetic data training a game changer for Optimus Gen 3.5? While most current robots, like those from Agility Robotics or 1X, are typically programmed to perform just a few fixed tasks, such as walking, lifting heavy objects, or patrolling, Optimus Gen 3.5 demonstrates a completely different learning capability. This is made possible by DreamGen, Tesla's virtual video simulation system that allows the robot to learn from millions of synthetic scenarios without requiring direct human instruction. As a result, Optimus can train autonomously 24-7 at virtually zero cost, a training advantage that competitors have yet to match. One of the most significant breakthroughs is task generalization. Whereas robots like 1X operate effectively only in pre-programmed scenarios like guarding, opening doors, or moving light objects in offices, Optimus can infer entirely new behaviors from just a single video. For instance, starting with a simple dataset of pick-and-place actions, Optimus managed to learn 22 novel behaviors without direct training, including pouring water, folding towels, using a hammer, scratching its head, wiping a table, flipping pages, ironing clothes, pressing control buttons, plugging in cords, or taking dishes out of a cabinet. These actions not only involve vastly different physical properties, liquids, soft objects, forceful contact, but also require precise multi-joint coordination something most current robots still cannot handle outside of controlled environments. In contrast, 1X primarily uses real-world video data for training, which limits the range of scenarios the robot can learn from, as it relies heavily on humans to collect and label that data. DreamGen, on the other hand, generates an unlimited simulated world for training. Furthermore, 1X has not yet proven that its system can transfer skills from simulation to reality with the same accuracy Optimus has shown. This suggests that Tesla is still in the early stages, with significant room to expand Optimus's training capabilities, while other companies may already be hitting the limits of their data-driven models. With a simulation-first approach and powerful generalization capabilities, Tesla isn't just building a robot that repeats actions. It's developing a system that learns continuously, adapts autonomously, and evolves over time. This is the core distinction that sets Optimus Gen 3.5 apart from the rest of the humanoid robotics industry today. When can Tesla Optimus Gen 3.5 complete its training process? November 2025. Not only marks the launch of Optimus Gen 3.5, but also the completion of Tesla's first core training phase for its latest generation humanoid robot. This represents a strategic turning point where AI no longer just simulates and learns from digital data, but is now ready to exist in the physical world. Performing complex tasks with high precision and ultra-low latency, the milestone follows over 12 months of continuous training, based on millions of real-world action videos and internal datasets, during which Optimus was trained both in AI-generated virtual environments via DreamGen and in physical scenarios inside Tesla's factories. Completing this training phase is not just a technical achievement. It is a signal to the market that Tesla has moved beyond R&D and is ready to commercialize humanoid robots at scale.
In contrast to traditional AI systems that require regular updates to maintain accuracy, Optimus Gen 3.5 is trained on a large-scale foundation model that integrates visual input, mechanical motion, and semantic understanding. What's unique is that this model doesn't need to be retrained from scratch when encountering new environments. Instead, it can reason about context and automatically adjust its behavior based on a generalized understanding of the world. This flexibility allows Tesla to end lab-based training and move into field trials at manufacturing facilities like Giga Texas and the logistics hub in Fremont. The speed at which Optimus Gen 3.5 moves from training to deployment is also unmatched. While robots from Figure AI are still in limited trial phases with pre-programmed tasks, Tesla has already deployed Optimus Gen 3.5 on real assembly lines, handling car interior operations such as installing seat frames, arranging components, and transporting supply boxes. Each robot only requires a one-time calibration before operating autonomously, something today's industrial robots still cannot achieve without human programmers standing by. As Elon Musk once stated, the robot will become useful in real factories before most people realize it, and the moment training concluded was when that prediction became reality. Another crucial advancement lies in the integration of social adaptability, meaning Optimus can not only work independently, but also collaborate with humans and other robots on the same production line. Tesla has tested multi-agent coordination where two Optimus robots jointly perform synchronized tasks like lifting long objects, rotating products on conveyor belts, or assisting human workers without requiring manual or voice commands. These responses don't come from linear code, but from millions of simulated feedback loops during high-intensity training. With a response time of just 80 milliseconds comparable to human reflexes, Optimus Gen 3.5 introduces virtually zero delay in manufacturing environments, boosting total plant efficiency by 8% to 12% during the first pilot phase alone. Another key takeaway is that this training completion establishes the baseline for all future generations. From now on, Optimus Gen 4, Gen 5, or specialized variants for domestic use, healthcare, customer service, etc., will no longer require training from scratch. Tesla simply needs to fine-tune motor modules and update the behavior layer for each context. This approach saves the company hundreds of millions of dollars in GPU compute costs, training time, and engineering resources, a challenge that competitors like Aptronic, 1X Technologies, or Boston Dynamics have yet to solve. For instance, 1X's EVE robot still depends on remote monitoring and cannot adapt to sudden changes in its environment. In contrast, Optimus Gen 3.5 has completed offline reinforcement learning, meaning it can learn from its own mistakes during operation without needing a persistent network connection or back-end GPUs. Crucially, the end of training in late 2025 also paves the way for Tesla's plan to manufacture 10,000 robots in 2026. Elon Musk has declared that production will follow car manufacturing economics, meaning the training and deployment pipeline is now standardized, just like how Tesla builds the Model Y. This milestone signals that Tesla has fully streamlined the entire pipeline, hardware, data, and algorithms, the necessary prerequisites for scaling production, not just in the U.S., but in future factories in Mexico or China as well. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.